Okay, the game that we're playing today is four-way cone soccer. How it works is, um, usually when the class comes in, I have the girls get in the line and a boys get in the line, and I give them a, a number. This is corner number one, corner number two, corner number three, corner number four. When I give them that number, they're gonna go to their corner, and they're going to put on the color jersey, like this is red jerseys, blue, green, and purple. Uh, they're going to put on that color jersey and they're going to sit in the corner and they're going to wait for instructions. Each team starts off with a soccer ball. Um, I usually use the soft gopher size soccer ball, uh, something that's not going to hurt if it hits them in the face or anything like that. Um, just a soft ball that can be used for this game. Uh, how this game works is each team has four cones, which basically is their goal that they would like to protect during this game. There are no goalies in this game. How this game works is, whenever I say go, teams are gonna dribble the four soccer balls around and you can use any soccer ball. Not Each team doesn't get their own for the whole game. They just start with one. Uh, you're gonna dribble around the gym, passing to teammates, trying to hit the cones of the other team. So let's say I'm on purple team and I dribble a ball over here and I kick it and it hits a cone right here. Well. This cone would be erased, and you would walk it back over to your side, and they would have a fifth cone. Uh, so the object of the game is to get as many cones as you can in five minutes. Um, there is one really important rule that I set up, and basically it's the dead ball rule. How the dead ball rule works is if, let's say purple has this ball, and they dribble over here, and they hit red's cone. As soon as the ball hits a cone, it is a dead ball. That means that the next team to kick it has to be a red team member, has to kick it away. That protects teams from like the green team coming over and kicking the same ball, and then the blue team coming over and kicking the same ball and taking all their cones right away. So it's the dead ball rule. You really gotta enforce that. You may have to stop the game and explain the dead ball rule a couple times for them to understand it. Um, basically, you have four cones, you wanna protect them. If your cone gets hit, it gets taken away to the team that hit it. Um, after four, five, four or five minutes, I'll stop it, count who has the most cones, and then I'll switch the girls. I usually have the girls sitting in the bleachers or the boys sitting in the bleachers, and we'll switch. So this would be like eight boys, eight boys, eight boys, eight boys, and then they'd switch, and the girls would come in. Um, I do allow the ball to bounce off the wall, then hit the cone. That still counts as a goal. There are no goalies in this game. No, no one can use their hands. Uh, the older kids, we usually play this with third grade and up, third through fifth grade. Uh, played it with middle schoolers in the past. And they enjoy it as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy uh, four-way cone soccer.